I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. From one of the most popular mangas of all time, I'm finally giving you Edward Elric's spear from Full Metal Alchemist. For the Full Metal Alchemist spear, I had to lay out the paper pattern, folded the paper in half to get the bat wings to give it a symmetry. The blade is 14 inches long by 3 16 of an inch thick, 1075 spring steel, and that was cut out on the bandsaw. profiled with a belt grinder and then with the mini belt grinder with the dynafile to clean up the interiors. I got some chromoly tubing which is 4130 chromium molybdenum steel and forged the ends of these to a taper and that is the socket that we milled with a 3 16 end mill and slotted over that blade and then used a TIG welder or heliarc welder to join that together to the blade itself. I started grinding the edge bevels on it and cleaning up everything. For the spike, I took some chromoly tubing and inserted a piece of quarter diameter uh, steel rod, MIG welded using a wire feed welder in this case, and forged that to a square spike and blended all that together. I also picked up these little welded rings that are going to be soldered or TIG welded onto the end of the socket. We cleaned up all the edges and the grinding on everything. The most difficult part of this thing is you have so many edges pointing out and trying to polish that. It's just a very difficult blade to clean up. We also finished up the uh, butt cap with the square spike end that Chris had welded the rings on. I polished up the rings and I determined it looked a little plain, so we looked up the Full Metal Alchemist uh, logo and uh, developed a etching stencil and electrochemically etched that design into two places on the, the butt cap and we'll do the same thing on the socket of the spearhead. It's on a four and a half or five foot long inch and quarter red oak pole right now. So the overall length would be just under six feet. Brian took some wood stain and stained up the oak shaft and drilled a hole in the butt cap prior to etching it. So that will be riveted together when everything's completed. I have uh, sheets of bronze that I need to conform to the bat wings. Those will be cut out with the Beverly shear and uh, the Dynafile and trued up. Laid that over the top we had to rivet the wings over the surface of the blade. So Brian actually plasma cut a couple of holes in it that we could uh, poke an eighth inch brass rod through and peen it over to hold the blade on. And then kind of encapsulated the socket and TIG welded all that together. These are microcrystalline waxes sculpted by my fiance Karen Cope who is a fine sculptor. These will be cast in bronze. When those were done they were cleaned up and soldered over the top. I also had uh, Brian taking pieces of forged bronze and shaping them up into little dragon back scales that will be soldered up the spine of the socket. There's a lot of details in this and it should be a pretty spectacular piece.
You guys consistently amaze me with your support. Thanks for watching. As a thank you, I'd like you guys to help pick the next weapon we make. So please click on the weapon you'd like to see next.